Long queues are common at the clinic run by MSF in the hepatology department at Phnom Penh Hospital, with the team seeing as many as 100 patients a day. As the only facility in Cambodia delivering free screening and treatment for hepatitis C, patients come from all over the country to consult. <laughs> This man found out he was infected with the hepatitis C virus over 10 years ago. The disease has progressed to such an extent he's had to stop working. With no money coming in, it was impossible for him to benefit from the new and radically improved drugs now available, direct acting antivirals that are highly effective but prohibitively expensive. With diagnosis and treatment costing the equivalent of six times the average monthly wage, people who earn less simply can't afford them. Given patient numbers and the extremely high price of diagnosis and drugs, the MSF team has to prioritize treatment for those with the greatest risk of developing severe and fatal forms of the disease. In post-war Cambodia, the critical state of the health system led to numerous cases of infection. Up until 2000, Cambodians contracted the hepatitis C virus from poor sterilization practices. By the end of April, the team had already provided 900 patients with treatment. Given the extent of the needs, MSF is developing a treatment model for the Ministry of Health to roll out across the country. The majority of our patients are pretty poor, so this is a hardship for them to have to come all the way to Phnom Penh um, to get treated for hepatitis C, but they are doing it. Ultimately, you know, that's probably the tip of the iceberg. There's probably more patients in those areas who haven't attempted um, to seek care so far away. But the program's success depends on more than just provision of care. A battle must be waged on another front, the exorbitant prices charged for direct-acting antivirals by pharmaceutical companies and drug patent holders. What's the point for uh, this big pharma to put together so many resources to bring two molecules that are very effective against HCV if it's at the end to not to prevent uh, through the, private, the pricing policy to prevent the patients to have access to it. Agreement must be reached on a fair price for these drugs so essential to the survival of hundreds of thousands of people. I saw a man yesterday who said to me, I know these medicines are so expensive. He held up his bottle and he said, I dropped one on the floor the other day and it was like I dropped my heart. I think people feel it deeply, I think they, they value it deeply to, to have the opportunity to be treated.